Hello YouTube viewers, welcome back. This is me Hasan Salim. So today we're gonna discuss about a very important topic. So today the topic is genetics. What the generic is? So let's check it out. File, new project, okay. To illuminate generics, let's overview an example generics allows you to write the code to write the code without considering any kind of data type here I create a class class ABC here I create a state public void function and here I am writing the variable of generics t value 1 t value 2 here this t will replace at the runtime or at the execution of that function we will define the data type of these two values these two variables whenever we call that function so I write I will check whether the two values passing to that function equal or not if value 1 dot equals to value 2 then it will it will check whether the two values are equal or not so in the true statement I write values are equal and if not equal then else block not equal all right so now here i create an object of that class now i call that function whenever when i call that function i need to declare that data type or oh, data type that I want to pass 5 comma 6 I am passing two integer values as a parameter so I need to declare their integer all right here I create another object object 2 is equal to new abc class name here obj2 dot function here I pass the string format and now I can only compare two strings here I am checking one comma one so here is the complete code it will check to integer value and it will check to string values the same code the same code is that we are using for two different type of two different type of values that's the basic purpose of generic so let's start it here you can see for the first time the two values 5 comma 6 are not equal and the two strings are equal so you can check any kind of value float string whatever or a character so that's the basic purpose of generics that we use instead of object data type so hope you understand and hope you like my tutorial don't forget to subscribe thank you